Welcome everybody to a brand new Blu-ray and DVD out and about video today. And this week sees the release of the long-awaited and anticipated animated sequel, Incredibles 2, hitting store shelves, along with the crime drama biopic, Black Klansman, the adventure comedy, Christopher Robin, Warner Brothers Home Entertainment is releasing Superman the Movie on 4K, and Screen Factory is releasing a collector's edition of Sleepwalkers, plus much, much more. So let's go in, see the deals, exclusives, and we're at our first location, Walmart. So let's go in and see what they got. All right, guys, we are in Walmart here, and the first thing I am seeing is the Blu-ray DVD of Incredibles 2 for $22.96. They also have the DVD here for $19.96, and... They don't have it right now, it's actually all out, but the 4K is $29.96 here. And Nick and I did a movie review on The Incredibles 2. You can catch it on the movie review playlist. And we really enjoyed this movie, man. It was a ball. It, it's a really great film and a great sequel to that first Incredibles movie. You know, they took a long time to make this movie and, you know... It's kind of weird because sometimes I talk about how I wish movies wouldn't take so long to come out, but sometimes it's good to take your time because it felt like this movie was perfect and that they they didn't rush it and they didn't like put out an inferior product. They actually put out something that actually was really, really cool and well worth the wait and well worth the, the first film. And I do love that first film. I think this is a really great movie, a well worthy sequel. I love all the voice acting, the animation is really amazing here, I love the story, the characters, everything is really well done in here guys, I dare I say I barely had any complaints about The Incredibles 2, thought it was really really well done and I think you guys would really enjoy it. If you like the first Incredibles, just like I did, this is well worth the watch guys, and well worth the wait, because it was that good guys, trust me, it really was. Then, the next thing over here I am seeing is they have the DVD of Christopher Robin right here for 1996. They don't have it right now, but the Blu-ray and DVD is 2296, but they don't have it right now, unfortunately, guys. And I ended up doing a My Movie Pass Adventures on Christopher Robin. You can catch it on the My Movie Pass Adventures playlist. And this was fun, man. This was really good. You know, the weird thing about Disney is that sometimes I, I fear that they're going to, like, cheapen it or make it sort of like a cash cow thing and not really pay homage to uh, the, the legacy of some of these characters. But they actually did a really great job with Christopher Robin. I thought, my God, man, I thought the story was great. I thought Ewan McGregor was awesome in the movie. Uh, Pooh and Piglet and Eeyore and... Tigger and everybody is really wonderful here. Very, very nostalgic. Uh, really well done here. It felt, it didn't feel cheap. It didn't feel over, um, like, like, a, like just a simple product thrown out there. It really felt like they really cared about the characters and cared about the movie and really wanted to put out something that really, um, was a real respect and tribute to, to Winnie the Pooh and everything. And it was really well done. I really like this movie, guys, and, you know, I'm not always big on everything Disney, but this one was actually a real pleasure, and I really love the movie. I would definitely recommend it to you guys. Christopher Robin is really, really good. Then, the next thing over here I am seeing, guys, is I'm seeing the Blu-ray and digital of Black Klansman for $19.96, the DVD for $17.96 right here, guys. And I got a chance to check this movie out on Amazon Prime, and guys, I was not disappointed. This movie is really, really well done. A really great movie. Spike Lee did a great job directing this film, and I thought the acting was really great. And crazy enough, based on a true story, which I was not really expecting, but I thought the story was really well done. The characters were very relatable. And it's definitely a very relatable movie for the times. It really is. It's just, it's, it's a movie that definitely needs to be seen. 
I thought the chemistry between all the actors was great and it was a pleasure to watch guys I really did enjoy this movie a ton it was it was actually really really good here and you know what um, I haven't always been the biggest fan of Spike Lee at times but this movie was actually really well worth it and really really good guys high recommendation for me I really did enjoy this one liked it a lot actually then over here I'm seeing they got Doctor Who Shada, the DVD for 1996 here. Hmm. Tom Baker, okay. Let's see what this is about here. Huh, that's actually very interesting, Shada. This does include. Okay, cool. I'm not the biggest fan of Doctor Who. I think I might have told you guys that before. My girlfriend loves Doctor Who. But this is actually cool that they actually redid it with animation and actually they, they finished it. If you guys are a big Doctor Who fan, definitely check this one out. It actually is really cool. Actually, it's kind of cool that they did this for the hardcore Doctor Who fans. And I know there's some that love the new stuff and not like the older stuff and people who like the, the older stuff and not like the new stuff. But this could be cool. And I definitely do like Tom Baker. I remember seeing at least a couple episodes from Tom Baker's run. Very cool stuff here. Yeah, this looks cool. I do like that a lot. The next thing over here I am seeing, guys, is I am seeing the DVD of Mara over here the, for twelve ninety six, And I heard of this movie, guys. I heard about it. I haven't gotten a chance to see it, but I saw the trailer, and I kind of like the trailer. It's this weird, creepy... I don't know whether it's a demonic entity or some sort of thing that's really sort of um, like attacking them or attaching to, to their lives, but it looks cool. And I do like Olga Kirilenko. She hasn't done a lot of stuff lately, but I do like her as an actress. It does kind of look cool. If you guys have seen Mara, let me know. I kind of want to check it out. The trailer did look pretty cool, actually. I definitely do want to check it out, though. Then, the next thing over here I am seeing is American Dresser, the Blu-ray and DVD for $12.96, and I guess $12.96 as well, okay. They, they just got the Blu-ray and DVD. And Tom Berenger, Keith David, Penelope Ann Miller, Jeff Fahey, Bruce Stern. now that is a cast right there. Life is a ride one mile at a time. Huh, what is this about? What is this sucker about here? Hmm. Huh. That actually does look cool. You know, the weird thing about it is my friend Ron and I were talking about Tom Berenger re recently. Just on the fly, we were talking about Tom Berenger and we were talking about how underrated of an actor he is. Like, not many people talk about Tom Berenger and they really should. He's done so many great roles. Major League and Platoon and man, he's and, and Sniper, of course. I mean, my god, he's 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 awesome. Not many people talk about him and I wish they did. He's he doesn't do much anymore, but this does look actually kind of cool. I would definitely be interested to check this out. Never heard of it before. If you guys have seen American Dresser, let me know. It does look cool and Tom Berenger definitely deserves more love than he gets, guys. Trust me. He does. Then the other thing over here I am seeing is the HBO original series Succession, the DVD for $29.96. I don't have HBO. Um, again, I, I don't really have cable. Maybe, may, maybe, honestly, I should invest in HBO Go or something because there's so much, much cool stuff on HBO that I really want to check out, but uh, unfortunately, I just don't have it. But... Huh. That actually looks really cool. There's so many really good series on HBO. I, man, I, I really do got to invest in HBO Go, I think. I mean, let, let me know if this is worth it, if you guys have seen it. And should I invest in HBO Go? Because there's so many good, like, HBO films and series that I got to get into. And and I just, this, and a long time ago, I decided not to do it because I just didn't think it was worth it. But maybe I should get into it now. I don't know. Succession does look pretty good, actually. Huh. Let me know what you guys think. 
And other than that, that does it for this section of uh, Walmart. Let's see what else they got, guys. All right, guys, we are in this section of Walmart here, and they have a few new releases for the week that came out in this section, guys. Uh, they've got the Healer here that came out for $9.96. I believe this is a faith-based movie as well. Speaking of faith-based movies, I think this one is as well, The Prayer Box. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, yes, it is faith-based, but I kind of like it. A young boy, um, answering people's prayers so that his prayer can be answered. Okay, I'm not big on faith movies, you guys know that, but this does look pretty cool, actually. Huh, that does look cool. Breaking Brooklyn, they got here as well. Louis Gossett Jr. is in this. Very nice. They got here. Not bad at all. Could be a good mo movie. Ah, The Sound of Music. Live. <laughs> the 60th anniversary of the Broadway classic. Uh, I think this is the live version. It's not the original film. No, it's not. Um, you know what? Crazy enough, though, I do actually really like that original Sound of Music film. I saw it back in school. I think, you know, during like music class or something, they showed it. I really love it. I don't know if I would ever watch this movie, though, because I, I could just watch the original film, you know what I mean? I don't really need to watch the live one of it. It is a great one. If you have not checked out the original movie, Sound of Music, definitely do it. The live one, I don't know if this is going to be really good, guys. I, it could be. I do, like, I, I do like musicals, but again, I could just watch the original. It would be fine with me, but not bad. People would probably pick this up thinking it is the original, but by all means, guys, it is not the original, just so you guys know. They also got over here, they got an interview with God, another sort of faith-based movie as well here, um, with Brenton Thwaites and David Strathairn. Not a bad synopsis right here, somebody claiming to be God and him interviewing him. Could be interesting. I, Yeah, I don't know much about this one. I like David Strathairn, I like Brenton Thwaites, I like the cover. Yeah, never heard anything about it. If you guys have, definitely let me know. It looks good, though. Hmm. They also got Christmas movies here as well. This is our Christmas, Christmas manger, Christmas on the coast. We got Christmas coming up, guys. So, uh, big time of the year. You guys know that. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I don't know much about these ones. Christmas movies aren't really my thing, to be honest with you guys. Uh, yeah, not really my thing, guys, unfortunately, but, hey, your Christmas fix here at Walmart. They also have over here Girls vs. Gangsters and Mike Tyson? What in the holy hell is this? Uh, I have no idea what this movie is, guys. Not a damn clue here. Uh, yeah, what is this? Oh, a bachelorette party goes crazy and wild, and yeah, I've seen movies like this before. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe Mike Tyson's the attraction here, but I don't even know how much Mike Tyson is in this movie. And again, if I wanted my Mike Tyson fix, I, should, I could just watch uh, The Hangover, which he's awesome in The Hangover. I don't know. Very weird one. Ah, Destination Wedding. Ooh. You know what, guys? I gotta check this one out. It's free on Amazon Prime. I gotta check it out. I've been wanting to. And weirdly enough, this movie, guys, I think was supposed to come out in theaters. I saw trailers for it, you know, when I went to, to the movies several times. And now it's just straight on DVD. I don't know what happened. Like, you would think Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder, they would put this out in theaters, but it, it just went straight to DVD. That is really weird. Yeah, I think it's about a couple of people who go to this wedding and they're really oddballs and they kind of fall for each other and the hilarity ensues from there. I don't know, it looks good. I just, I'm kind of shocked it didn't come to theaters. I really wanted to see it on the big screen. I was planning to. That's weird that it's, that it's just sitting here, but I know it's free on Amazon Prime. I gotta check it out. 
That's a shame, man. It should have went to theaters. I do like Keanu Reeves and Winona Ryder. They're a great team up. They've done several movies together. I love them, and I think this could be really cool. I gotta check it out. We also got over here uh, Robin Hood the Rebellion. Uh, you know, they're coming out with all these Robin Hood ones now. That There's that new film coming out soon um, with like J Jamie Foxx. They're coming out with these ones for people to get interested in Robin Hood again. I don't know. I mean, that new one with with uh, Jamie Foxx, it looks okay. I've had friends of mine say that it looks like a piece of shit, and maybe it does, but uh, I, I don't know. This this one, I probably wouldn't watch it. It's probably a very cheapo version of Ro Robin Hood, but, I mean, they're gearing up for it. You know, you know what I mean, guys? Uh, they got over here a crooked somebody, two sides of a killer story, which I've never heard before either. Interesting here. Huh. Not bad. I do like Clifton Collins Jr. Looks good. Ah, Loving Pablo. Hating Escobar came out this week as well. Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz. I definitely got to check this one out. I do like both of these actors. And there is a, there's a shitload of, like, movies and series based on, like, Pablo Escobar, isn't there? I think there's even a Netflix one based on Pablo Escobar. Like, this guy is incredibly fascinating, and so many people have had run-ins with him, and he's he has such a history and a story that, I mean... You're just going to see a lot of stuff like this. I, I think they're going to do more. I mean, why not, right? There's so many stories to tell. I definitely got to check this out. And I got to check out that Netflix series, which everyone tells me is really good. Got to check that one out. Bel Canto. Uh, the Blu-ray for $12.96. The DVD for $9.96. I have not heard of this one. I like Julianne Moore. I like Ken Watanabe. Hmm based on the best-selling novel huh that could be cool hmm never heard of it this one st went straight to DVD and blu-ray because this did not come to theaters unless it came in a very limited run and if it did it didn't come anywhere near me guys huh hmm definitely gotta check that one out then over here they have oh they have Papillon uh, the remake for $14.96 on DVD here. I got a chance to check this out on Amazon Prime, guys. It's not bad. I actually tend to, um, I tend to like the original film, um, from 1973, starring Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman. A really great movie. This one, I don't know if it was absolutely necessary of a film to come out, but it's not a bad movie, though. It's okay. I... You know, I think Charlie Hunnam does a pretty good job in here. Rami Malek does as well. Um, I think you could just watch that original film and that would be fine. But, I mean, it's not a bad re a remake. It was good. They did a good job with it. It just kind of feels a little um, unneeded. You know what I mean? I don't think you really needed it that much. Eh. It's still good. And if you haven't watched the original, then, you know, this is not a bad one to check out either. I think it's pretty good. Then over here you have... Oh, Sharknado, the last Sharknado, It's About Time, the Sharkaholic Cut. I watched this on Amazon Prime, guys. I had not watched any of the other Sharknado movies, and I figured, you know what, might as well take a gamble and watch this one, and my God, this is one terrible movie. This is really bad, guys. Um, I don't know whether I was missing plot elements or something from the other films that maybe passed me by, but this one is really a real piece of crud m movie um yeah and i like cheesy weird b movies you guys know that if you've watched the channel enough but this this is just god awful man um i'm kind of glad this is the last one but something you know something tells me this is not the last one something tells me they're gonna make another one you know guys it's just weird they you know it's never really the last one right uh, the cover art is cool, though. I like the cover art. It kind of reminds me a lot of, like, Star Wars or something, but this movie is nowhere near Star Wars. The, the, the jokes are really terrible. The acting is god-awful. Um, the effects are, oh, the effects are really bad. And it's just, they're, they're trying to, like, quote from other movies, and it's just like, ooh, stop it. Stop it, guys. You can't do it. You're not as good. It's, it's really, really bad. Um, 
there's really great cheesy B movies out there about sharks. Like I really love House Shark, crazy enough. But um, this the Sharknado movies, I did not like this one, and I don't think I'm gonna go back and check out the other ones. I mean, let me know if I should, guys. But something tells me I'm just gonna skip the other ones because. I don't want to suffer like I did watching this one. And trust me, guys, I suffered big time. Um, other than that, there's a few other things here. They got Beyond the Sky, which looks really cool. D. Wallace, Peter Stormare. Pretty cool here. Not bad. They got, um, oh, your Krampus fix here. They got Krampus Origins. They got Mother Krampus 2 Sleigh Ride for your... Christmas horror pleasures. I actually really like this cover. This cover is actually really cool. I think the cover is really awesome, actually. Oh, I like that. Not bad. And you know what? I actually really like um, that Krampus movie that came out a couple years ago in the theater. That one was really cool. I like that cover a lot. Other Krampus too. Eh, not bad movies. A little cheesy, but you know, not not bad if they're good cheesy. I like good cheese, not bad cheese, guys. Uh, other than that, uh, yeah, that does it for Walmart, I believe. Not bad releases this week. All right, let's head out. All right, guys, as usual, Walmart has really great selection, as usual, guys. But I was actually kind of really shocked because they didn't have any exclusives for, like, Incredibles 2 or Christopher Robin or anything like that. I thought we would have gotten some exclusives here, so I'm actually really shocked. We got the selection, the selection's really cool, but I thought we would have seen more. I don't know, I just, I was expecting it for this week, I don't know. So, really odd there, but other than that, there was a lot of really cool stuff to see here at Walmart as usual. So, yeah, I mean, let's see if the other stores have exclusives or other stuff to check out, I'm hoping. I mean, you had some really big releases this week, I'm hoping there's some, actually some really cool, like, selection out there, but I don't know, we'll definitely check it out. Alright guys, well, uh, let's get going and see what the other stores have, guys. All right, everybody, we are at our second location, Target. Now, over at Walmart, like I said, the selection was really great, but I was just really baffled why we didn't get any exclusives this week. I mean, I was sure that we were going to get something for Incredibles 2 or um, or Christopher Robin or you know, some, some of these big ones. I was really thinking we were going to get something. And we didn't. And for Walmart, I'm actually kind of shocked because I wasn't actually expecting that. And so now I'm actually kind of curious what Target will have because will Target have some exclusives for these titles? What kind of a, what kind of selection will we see? I mean, again, I was kind of happy last week because we got more than I was anticipating for them, especially when they kind of lowered the shelves for all the physical media to down to two so i was kind of worried that we would lose a lot of stuff but they actually did have decent selection last week and i think this week we could get some really cool selection maybe even some exclusives that beats walmart it would be a shocker but hey you never know let's head inside and check out what target has guys all right, guys, we are in a Target here, and I'm seeing this display for Christopher Robin. Very nice right here. And they do have an exclusive right off the bat. They have the limited edition storybook here, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for Christopher Robin. Really cool cover art there with Winnie the Pooh with the hat on and the balloon. And this kind of like, looks like what on the inside there. Very nice. Kind of like that a lot here. I like that. Very cool release. And... Uh, I can't even tell you what the price is because there is no price tag. I don't even know what the price is for any of this, guys. Trust me. I wish I could tell you. They don't have it. But they also have the DVD of Christopher Robin here as well. Um, no Blu-rays or DVD combo, just the DVD itself. And, um, yeah, again, I can't even tell you what the price is because there is no price tag. Sorry, guys. But... This movie is really well done. I really like this movie, as I told you guys. And you know what this movie reminds me of? This movie reminds me of Hook, that Steven Spielberg film with Robin Williams, because, you know, with Christopher Robin when he was a younger man and he believed in all these things, and then when he became older, he became more jaded and cynical, and he had to find his inner child again. It definitely reminds me of Hook. I really like Hook, and I really like Christopher Robin, too. The movie was really, really well done. It's a great movie for kids and a great movie for adults. I definitely highly recommend it, guys. Very, very cool. Very good m movie. Very good. I like that a lot. 
And then on this side, they have a display for The Incredibles 2 right here. They're very nice right here. And they also have an exclusive here. They have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital of Incredibles 2 for the price of... Well, I don't know because they still don't have price tags, guys. I don't know. I don't know what the price is. I'm going to tell you. And this is actually a really cool release. It's a limited edition... Let's see there. I believe it's another, like, storybook, filmmaker gallery. Yeah. This is what it looks like on the inside. Actually, very cool right there. Not a bad release. I actually like the cover art here showing Jack-Jack right there in the basket with the father ironing. I like that a lot. Actually, really cool artwork right there. They also have the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital here as well. And they have that for, well, again, I don't know what the price is. Sorry, guys. Why don't they have... Why don't they have the tags? Why don't they have the price tags, damn it? I don't know. But they have that. Um, they also have the DVD as well over here too, guys. Again, don't know what the price is either. But, again, I really do love this movie, guys. I think Brad Bird did a great job um, directing this animated film. I think he directed the first one as well. Really cool here. And... I really, I think my favorite character is Jack-Jack because he is so hilarious, he's so funny. There's a whole sequence with him and this animal in the film, I won't spoil it, but it is funny as how we laughed our asses off. It's such a, such a great movie, really funny. And who knows, I'd hope they do a third one because it is really, really funny and well worth it. I really enjoyed it a lot, super great. Again, a great film for kids and a great film for adults. Very well done. Uh, again, no price tags, sorry guys. Maybe I'll see if they have the prices on the other side when we go check out what else Target has. All right, guys. Let's get going. All right, guys. We are in this section of Target, and they do have the regular 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital release of The Incredibles 2 here. But again, I do not know what the prices are for any of this stuff. They do not have any price tags. So I literally cannot tell you what any of the prices that Target has here because they don't got the tags on. You would think that they would have put the tags on before putting the product on. That would make the most sense, but they did not. Uh, sometimes Target, you know what I mean? And they still do have the DVD of Christopher Robin here, but again, no Blu-ray or DVD combo, but again... No price tags, guys. Rrr. Then, over on this side here, I am seeing a few releases that they have. They have Loving Pablo Hating Escobar. Hey, the price tag, for once. The Blu-ray for $16.99 here. Again, I gotta definitely check this out. Let me know what you guys think here. I... I love a lot of stuff depicting Pablo Escobar. There was one um, in that movie American Made uh, with Tom Cruise. Somebody was playing Pablo Escobar there. And actually, I really like that portrayal of Pablo Escobar. Actually, I think most actors do a pretty good job with Pablo Escobar. And I actually think Javier Bardem would be a really cool choice to play him. Him and Penelope Cruz, that seems like a no-brainer. I definitely got to check it out. Definitely let me, let me know what you guys think of the title here. And they also have the Blu-ray of Bel Canto for $14.99 here. Hmm. Ken Watanabe, Julianne Moore again. Good combo, but, you know, speaking of Ken Watanabe, um, isn't he going to be in that new Godzilla film that's coming out next year? I think, yes, I believe he is. He was in that first one that came out a, a few years ago. Um... And honestly, guys, I did not like Ken Watanabe in that movie only because um, it was it just me or did he look like every time he was on screen, he was about to cry. It's like literally every, every scene, it was almost like he was about to like burst into tears. It was really weird. And, and, and my friend Bob was joking. He was like, well, I, I wonder how many times he's going to try to burst into tear, tears in this film. It's like, it's, like, it's like really weird. But generally, I like Ken Watanabe. It could be cool. Definitely let me know what you guys think if you've seen the movie. It does look pretty cool here. And then over here, I am seeing they have... Ooh, they have Black Klansman. The 4K Blu-ray and digital for $27.99. The Blu-ray digital for $22.99. And no DVD, but if they had it, it would be $19.99 here, guys. And 
I really, really, again, really did love this movie, guys. I thought it was really, really well done here. And I really like Spike Lee. Um, I don't like everything Spike Lee does. I definitely like um, a lot of earlier Spike Lee, whether it's Jungle Fever um, or uh, He Got Game. Uh, all those really great movies that he's done. There's other ones I can't even think of right now. Oh, uh, Do Do the Right Thing. He's a great, great director. This is a really awesome movie, and it feels like he's going back to his roots, which is really, really cool as well. It's it's really well done, man. I wish I would have seen it in the, the in the theater, but it passed me by. But yeah, it's really well done, man. It takes place in the 70s, has a lot of great 70s feel to it. The music and the clothes and the hair and very cool. I definitely, definitely recommend it. If you're into Spike Lee, this is a great, great movie, guys. And then over here, I am seeing. Oh, they've got them. They've got them. They've got Stranger Things Season 2 on Net from Netflix right here. From Target exclusive, only at Target, guys. They have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and DVD for $29.99 here. Very cool art right there. Very cool as well. Wow, I really love, love, love this. It looks like a big old, like, VHS box. Wow, yeah, that is really awesome, guys. That is really cool. Yeah, that is badass. God, I, I love that. That is really cool. We also have over here the Blu-ray and DVD of Season 2 as well. With slightly different artwork, if you kind of look at it. Slightly different compared to the 4K. And on the back side here as well. Oh, that's cool. I, I like the back of it. Very, very nice here, guys. That is awesome here. And... I actually did a Netflix Nights video talking about my thoughts on Stranger Things Season 2. You can catch it on the Netflix Nights playlist. Um, I really enjoyed Season 2, man. I thought it was just as good as Season 1, if not actually better. I, they delved deeper into the characters, into the story, into the upside down. I thought it was really cool. Had some great uh, new additions for characters. Some people were a little bummed by Season 2, but I actually wasn't. I really enjoyed it, man. And this is a awesome fucking release. Yeah, man. I don't know exactly why Target is the only one that ever gets the Stranger Things stuff. But this is a really awesome one. I really love this a lot. This is really cool, guys. This is, is awesome here. And they've got this little thing here. Do not... Do not immerse underwater. Do not expose to sports and do not play in the upside down <laughs> very cool guys this is a great fucking release by target here i own the first one that came out and i gotta pick this one up this is so cool hawkins video friends rewind oh so awesome this is a really cool release i heard that it was coming out but it was kind of one of those ones where i it was just sort of the last minute thing. I didn't know about it until like a day or two ago, but it's so cool that they have it here. I definitely, definitely got to pick it up at some point. Very, very cool release, guys. And yeah, man, some cool physical media to check out this week at Target. Not half bad, guys. All right, let's head out, guys. Not bad releases to check out this week at Target, guys. I think that Stranger Things Season 2 box is killer. I think that is really awesome and really cool. And again, like, that is probably the coolest thing that Target puts out every year is that Stranger Things box because that thing is really some of the most creative and coolest thing that I've seen. I love that it looks like a VHS box, man. Uh, you know, old school, back in the day. Me as a lover of VHS from long ago, man. I love that. And I thought they had a lot of really great selection this week to show. Unfortunately, there's no price tags on any of that stuff. So I can't show you what any of the prices are on any of that stuff. I don't know why there was no price tags, but there's nothing. I kind of wish there was, but unfortunately, we just don't got it. Uh, crazy enough, but there is some cool stuff. They did have exclusives that beat Walmart, so that is cool as well. Yeah, really weird that even though... Walmart has better selection than Target. Target had the better exclusives of the week. Hey, you never know until you do these guys, trust me. All right, let's head to the third and final location and see what more goodies we can find for the week, guys. All right, everybody, we are at our third location. The Beast 
Best Buy right here, guys. And it has been a really weird week so far. You've got great selection from Walmart. You've got really great exclusives from Target. And now, can we have a bit of both from Best Buy? Well, you never know. We could always. Best Buy is really good. And we always find some really cool stuff over at Best Buy. Every week, something new. So let's go and see what they got, guys. All right, guys, we are in at Best Buy here, and I am seeing this display for The Incredibles 2 right here. Very nice. Right on the side here. Very cool. And the first thing I am seeing here is they have the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $29.99. On the other side here, wow, very cool here as well here awesome they also have the blu-ray dvd and digital for $22.99 and they also have a limited edition only at best buy steelbook 4k ultra hd blu-ray and digital i really love that where their um their their clothes are in the washer <laughs> very cool here and that is for $34.99 right here guys and uh, honestly you know what um like I said, this is a great family movie. It's a great, um, just a great kids movie to watch, great adults move movie to watch. And again, like I said before, I hope they make a third one. You know, I was a little iffy about them taking the time that they did to make the movie like all those years, but the product came out great and I really enjoyed it. And I thought, man, they just killed it with this movie. The characters are great. Jack Jack is hilarious. Um, you know what, man? I'm not a huge fan of animated movies. You guys know that. But this one just hit me in the right way, the same as the first Incredibles movie. It's It really is a great movie. It's got adult stuff in there. It's got stuff for kids. Again, I really do enjoy it. Let me know if you guys are big on the Incredibles series. And if you want to see a third one, I definitely, definitely do. It is really beyond awesome here. And just so you guys know, this is what the inside of the Steelbook looks like right here. Like there, very, very cool stuff here. And this display, guys, actually is also a display for Christopher Robin right here as well. A little bit on the side right here. And I am seeing they got the DVD here for $19.99. They have the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital for $22.99 here. And, oh, man, um, like I said, guys, great movie. I love Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor is honestly one of my favorite actors of all time. I love what he does. He can do drama. He can do horror. He can do fantasy. He can do family films. The guy's fucking awesome. I really, really love him a lot. I love seeing anything he does here. And, again, I really loved just everything that they did with Pooh and the gang. You know, back in the day when I was a kid, I used to watch this Winnie the Pooh show, it was on Disney. It was this live action uh, Winnie the Pooh show with like people dressed up as Pooh and Tigger and Eeyore and everything. I forget the name of that show, but I really loved it back in the day. I used to have a Winnie the Pooh doll and everything. It, it, you know, hey, I was a big fan of Pooh. This was big nostalgia for me. I really loved it a lot. And again, it is really, really fantastic here. Uh, the special features you get, you get a lot. You get uh, movies made for Pooh. Pooh and Friends Come to Life. Pooh finds his voice, and Pooh and and Walt become friends. Explore the legacy of Walt Disney's love for Winnie the Pooh. Oh, very, very, very cool. A lot of really great um, special features on here, and just a really great kids and family film as well. Um, I'm not always the biggest fan of family films. Also, some of them are not always the greatest, but this is really good, guys. I think you would enjoy it. And just so you guys know also, because I almost completely forgot... The special features for uh, The Incredibles 2 here, you get 10 deleted scenes, heroes and villains, Super Baby, a music video about the making of Incredibles 2, Strong Coffee, Lesson in Animation with Brad Bird, Super Stuff, Making of Bayo, and more. You get a lot here, including a new mini-movie called Anti-Edna as well. There's, there's a lot of stuff here as well, so this is a great re release and so is Christopher Robin great family films you guys would really enjoy them definitely check them out 
and I think you guys would enjoy them. They're fun for the whole family. All right, guys, let's see what else Best Buy's got. All right, guys, we are in the new release section over here at Best Buy, and they do have the Blu-ray and digital of Black Klansman for $22.99, the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital for $24.99 here. And, you know, this movie is really relevant to the times in a big, bad way. Um, you know, I think we can all learn a little bit from this movie. I don't want to get too preachy with you guys, but I am Jewish. I think I've told you guys that a few times over the course of the channel. But, you know, at the end of this video, at the end of the, end of the film, they show, um, they show a lot of neo-Nazis um, rallying and a lot of violence against people that are happening in the modern day. And I just really think it's sad, man. You know, honestly... I don't see black, I don't see white, I don't see Puerto Rican, I don't see Indian, I, I don't see, you know, somebody being gay or lesbian or straight. I just see regular everyday human beings trying to survive and we should all be nice to each other. You know, everybody's struggling, everybody has issues in their life and it's not about hating on one race or hating on other people. We should all just get along and be one, you know, be one world. Uh, you know, but unfortunately, it's a lofty goal, it may never happen, but I think movies like this can definitely show us a lot of stuff, and it is definitely worth it, guys. Um, you get here, actually, a lot of special features. You get um, a Spike Lee joint, you get extended trailer featuring Princess Mary Don't You Weep. Uh, like I said, it's not bad, it's a really good movie here, a lot of great performances. Denzel Washington's son is really awesome in this movie. Topher Grace, who plays David Duke, does an awesome job here as well. Uh, everybody does a great job. It's a really wonderful movie that is worth checking out, guys. Then, the next thing I am seeing over here is they have The Last Sharknado. It's about time. The shark o for twelve ninety nine. the Blu-ray here. And, oh man, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, this movie is complete trash. And let me tell you a quick story about Tara Reid. Now, Tara Reid was actually at... Um, the Scarecon convention that I go to about a year or two ago and what happened was is that she, I wanted to go up to her and get her autograph because I'm actually a big fan of a couple of things she did mainly the Big Lebowski and she was charging 40 bucks for her autograph and she was charging 40 bucks for a picture so that would have been 80 bucks I don't think Tara Reid is worth that kind of money I, I don't know whether her agent is like forcing her to charge that stuff but you know, I could see maybe at 25 if she had lowered her, her price, I think a lot of people would have been at her table. Um, it, her table was like, like, almost like, you know, like blowing tumbleweeds across the, across the section. I mean, nobody was coming over because, again, you're charging 40 bucks. Nobody, you know, you're not, there, there are certain celebrities that are worth $40, and then there's Tara Reid that maybe is worth 25 20 but not 40 especially a picture for $40 as well. That's ridiculous, man. Uh, but she's not really even good in this movie. I don't know if she's good in the other Sharknados. This movie is complete crap, guys. Uh, there's a shitload of cameos, and there's a shitload of sharks, but the movie ain't good, guys. And, unfortunately, I've been able to avoid... Well, actually, I should say, fortunately, I've been able to avoid all of the pictures from the Asylum, but, uh... I just had to check this one out. Um, I... I love to torture myself, and this was a torture. I don't recommend this movie, guys. I don't know about the other Sharknadles, but if they're half as bad as this one, then just avoid them. Uh, if you're a fan, though, okay, I can't blame you. Um, there's a ton of special features behind the scenes, do the shark movie, music video, VFX before and after, bloopers, deleted scenes, commentary, trailers, and so much more for a Sharknado movie. Really? For Sharknado? Uh, okay, I guess, but it's really honestly not worth it, guys. Um, yeah, it's a big bad skip for me. Uh, yeah, don't don't suffer like I did, okay? Just saying. Uh, other than that, guys, that is it for this section of Best Buy. Let's see if they got anything else, guys. All right, guys, we're over in this section as well, and they do have the DVD as well for Incredibles 2 for $19.99 as well if you're interested in DVD only. 
They also have this Best Buy exclusive 4K Blu-ray and digital for Wreck-It Ralph for $34.99 here. Um, I have not seen Wreck-It Ralph, but I know the actual um, sequel is coming out. And I actually think the sequel looks pretty cool. I definitely gotta, gotta check that out. And I'm curious about this one. Is this worth it to check out? Is Wreck-It Ralph cool? Definitely let me know. It could be. I, I definitely am interested in this movie. Like I said, the trailer for the sequel looks really awesome, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. And that's what it looks on the inside there. Very cool stuff as well. Yeah, I like the Steelbook. I definitely got to watch the first one before I check out the sequel. But let me know if it's worth it, guys. I definitely want to know. And last week they did not have it, but they have it this week. Slender Man. Oh, God. Uh, for $24.99, the Blu-ray and digital. Why? I was so happy they didn't have Slender Man last week. But, God damn it, they had to torture people by, by bringing it in this week. God damn it. Uh, yeah, as I said, guys, this is really terrible. Um, PG-13 horror gone really, really bad. And, uh... Yeah, actually, you know what? What is worse? Sharknado, the final film, or Slender Man? Ooh, God, you're really pinning me. I, okay, I'm pinning myself down here. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Sharknado is worse. Ah, uh, you know, and that pains me to say, because Slender Man is terrible, but you know what? Come on, um, that movie is just really terrible. This one is garbage, but you might be able to sit through that. That one was just a really pain to, to sit through. Both of them are pain. What can, can I tell you? But um, they had to have it here at Best Buy, didn't they? Oh, just uh, wipe them all out. Uh, okay, guys. Other than that, that does it for Best Buy here. Some really cool selection this week. All right. Let's get going. Best Buy delivered yet again, guys. We had fantastic selection here, and we had some great exclusives to show off this week as well. I was really, really happy with what Best Buy had this week. Yeah, actually, I think all the stores had some really cool stuff, whether it was different releases that other stores didn't have, whether it was exclusives, whether it was the artwork. Yeah, man, I thought this week was really great for physical media. The first week of November did not disappoint, guys. I was really happy. So let's head to home and I'll finish the video. All right, guys, that'll do it for the Blu-ray and DVD out and about video this week. And this was kind of a weird week, I think. Um, almost a little bit upside down, dare I say. Uh, yeah, you know, I was going into Walmart thinking to myself, boy, this is a big release week. We got a lot of titles coming out. We're definitely going to get exclusives. I was a little bit shocked we didn't get anything. Then I go over to Target thinking to myself, well, we're certainly not going to get really any major exclusives over Target. And then they completely surprised me, whether it was Christopher Robin, The Incredibles 2, Stranger Things. There was so much cool stuff as far as exclusives there. And then Best Buy was uh, the best of both worlds, kind of. Um, it was definitely very interesting of a week. Walmart had the selection. Target had the exclusives. Best Buy handled their business like they usually do. Uh, yeah, I I was really sort of kind of shocked by some of the stuff happened this week, but pleasantly surprised. And there was a lot of really cool titles that came out this week. Something for every everybody, all the movie lovers out there. Animated, comedy, dramas, thrillers, uh, you name it. Something for the whole family. There was a lot of cool stuff that came out this week. So definitely let me know what you guys picked up. I am definitely interested to find out. And for the first week of November, uh, it did not disappoint for me, guys. I picked up quite a few things. So let's see here. I got a package in the mail from Diabolic DVD right here. Um, this is a Blu-ray that I pre-ordered back in July, guys. Um, when this went on pre-order, man, I hit that button as fast as possible, man. I just went for it in a big, bad way. This is an Ed Wood title. Not only is it an Ed Wood title, but this is a movie that's been rarely seen for almost 50 years, guys. I am a huge fan of Ed Wood. He is not the worst filmmaker of all time, not by a long stretch of imagination. And, uh... For me, I really think his movies are very cheesy, but as you guys know, I do like some good cheese, and Ed Wood films are definitely good cheese, in my honest opinion. So I am definitely interested to check this bad boy out. 
Also, I ended up getting a release from Amazon Prime. This is a 4K title that got released um, during the week. And I am very interested in this. This is an old school classic film that got the 4K upgrade. And I don't think this film is going to disappoint on 4K. Some older films tend to disappoint a little bit. I don't think that the company putting this out would put out an inferior product. I think it's going to be really cool. I think it's going to look great. And I am super excited to have this in the collection. So yes, um, very cool to have this. I also picked up a release over at Target, guys. It's been a while since I got something at Target. But this release, man, I really wanted this release. Not only did I want it, but I kind of have the first set too, so kind of a no-brainer. Uh, but it's going to look great in the collection. It's going to look great next to the first set, and it just is a really cool release that I honestly just couldn't resist, guys. So I am definitely, definitely interested to check this one out as well. It's going to be very, very cool. And one more thing I got over at Best Buy right here, guys. A film that I really enjoyed in the theaters and it's a great it's a great film for kids it's a great film for adults it's got a lot of really great imagination in it and I'm just really happy to have it in the collection I'm not always the biggest um, collector of stuff that would be considered family films exactly but this one man just hit me in the right sweet spot and I was just really excited to to own it and I'm glad I picked it up great release from Best Buy and uh, yeah four titles and we're only in the beginning of November guys there is a lot of stuff here and a lot more stuff during the month of November man it's gonna be a great month for physical media uh, like I said some really cool releases here that you guys will not find out that I picked up until the beginning of next month where I show off all of the releases that I got for November in my Blu-ray pickup video, uh, like I said, guys, there's some really cool releases coming down the pike for November. A lot of really cool pre-orders, a lot of stuff that I'm going to pick up in the stores. And, uh, yeah, dare I say, um, I thought October was going to be great for physical media, but November, it might just top it. Might. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out, so definitely look forward to that video when it comes out the beginning of next month. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, check out the other videos that I do, the other Tuesday Out and About videos, the Blu-ray pickup videos, the theatrical movie reviews that I do with my friends every single week, plus so much more content on the channel, including movie hunting videos and a lot more. Uh, if you love movies and physical media, hit subscribe and be a part of the Film Fan Nation. I have a passion and I love talking about movies. It just is something that I just love doing and I... I I, I honestly love sharing my passion and love with the rest of you guys out there and I love all of the comments and the feedback that I get that I get from you because uh, it's nice to connect with all of you guys who love movies just as much as I do. It's a pleasure and I love getting the comments and I love showing my, my love for movies back to you guys. So if you love the channel and if you love what I do, definitely hit subscribe and keep up to date with all the videos that I'm doing through my social media, Facebook. Instagram and Twitter, FilmFan108. Check out everything that I do there, plus some exclusive stuff that I do from time to time on the format as well. All right, guys, that'll do it for the video. Uh, definitely some really great releases this week. Let me know what you picked up, and I will see you back next week for another brand new Blu ray and DVD out and about video. Take care, guys, and always remember happy hunting.